Good morning, everybody, and thank you for joining me again today for another fun art activity. I'm Arthur Moreno, a.k.a. Mr. Paco, and today we will be learning, discussing, and creating our own self-portraits made of nature findings, such as sticks, grass, plants, etc. Now, if you forgot or didn't get a chance to go on a quick nature walk yesterday, that's perfectly fine. You can either draw your own leaves, flowers, and sticks on colored construction paper, cut those out, and use that for your self-portrait, or I provided some templates of sticks, flowers, and plants that you can color and cut out and also use for your own self-portrait. Now, what exactly is a portrait? Well, a portrait is a picture of a person made by someone else. So a self-portrait is a picture of oneself done by oneself. <laughs> Does that make sense? I hope so. Now, why do people paint portraits? Well, it's probably because the camera wasn't invented yet. So a painted, sculpted, or drawn portrait was the only way to record the appearance of someone or something. But portraits have always been more than just a record. They have been used to show poor, importance, virtue, beauty, wealth, taste, learning, or other qualities of the sitter. Now I'm going to show you three famous portraits and I would like to ask you three short questions at the end of each portrait. Cool? Cool. Now this first self-portrait is of the amazing Frida Kahlo. Despite facing many trials and tribulations throughout her life, Frida Kahlo has made a big name for herself in the art world. More attention has been drawn to her work in recent years thanks to inspired work from others and her self-portraits are known for truly displaying the pain, both physical and emotional, that she experienced through her life. Alright, so here's the portrait and the first question I would like for you to ask yourself is, does anything that the person is wearing give you any clues? Like clothing, jewelry, makeup, surroundings, etc. Okay? All right, next question. What does the background and the objects in the background of the picture tell us? Well, it's obviously she loves animals, <laughs> but what else can you think of? Okay, and the last question. Can you tell when the person lived? Look deeply into her clothing, the atmosphere of the picture, and what exactly type of clothes she's wearing? All right. All right, good job. Now it's time for the second portrait. The second self-portrait is of Pablo Picasso. Picasso was one of the biggest artists of his time, and even today, you will not find many people who have not heard his name before. He introduced many new styles and challenged people's classic perceptions when it came to creating lasting pieces that would continue to influence people for years to come. Finding an original Picasso piece will take more than visiting a Latin American art auction, as his pieces are truly one of a kind. So here's this self-portrait, and the first question I want you to ask yourself is, does anything that this person is wearing give you any clues? Clothing, jewelry, makeup, hmm. Okay, next question. Is the portrait realistic or is it abstract? Hmm. Hmm. Okay. And last question. Do you think the person posed for this portrait? Now, this final third portrait is not from an artist per se, but her portraits have a strong message behind them. Let me introduce the none other, Dolores Huerta. Activist and labor leader, Dolores Huerta has worked to improve social and economic conditions for farm workers and to fight discrimination. To further her cause, she created the Agriculture Workers Association, AWA, in 1960 and co-founded what would become the United Farm Workers. Now, this portrait of Dolores Huerta serves as a symbol for a voice that wants to be heard. Now, does anything that the person is wearing give you any clues? Mm-hmm. Okay. Now... What does the background and the objects in the background of the picture tell us? Look closely. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, how do you think the person in the picture is feeling? Or what is their mood? And how can you tell? 
Look closely at facial expressions. All right, now that you've seen some famous portraits and what they represent, now it's time to create our own nature self-portrait. I just want to say thank you guys for joining me again today. I had absolutely fun creating our own nature self portraits. And please, I would always love to see your examples. Use the hashtag MacEducation on Facebook or Instagram and let us know what you think. I would love to see your own self portraits. And as always, happy art making, guys.